Hello everyone, Benny here, and welcome to my new How Do I series. This series is going to be very different from all my other series, because this series is going to be completely ongoing. There is no set start time, there is no set end time, and that's why none of these series are going to be really numbered. Well, except this one, of course, because it's this first one, but... Other than that, this series is going to be fueled by my viewers, for my viewers, and it's going to be... Here's the way it's going to work. Anytime someone asks me a question, whether it be private message or comment, and I think that it's something, hey, this could be really useful. This is something that a lot of people might want to have an answer to. Either that or I think, hey, you know, no one's asked me this, but I think some people might be wondering about this. I'll post a video in this series. So you're going to be really quick, really down and dirty. Just simple me showing you how you can do something. That's why it's called How Do I? So there's the intro to the series. And now it's time for today's topic, which is debugging. My building a Minecraft computer tutorial series. We built a nice computer, but we never showed you how to debug it. So, here we are. I have done some expansion on this, what so may be slightly unrecognizable, but hopefully you still recognize it for the most part. Here's the way you do debug you do blocks like this ev on every single one. And almost done. Step two, add lever on every single block. Whoops. On the sides, not on top. And step three, profit. You have completed debugging. So here's how it works. If I I'm going to just haphazardly break a couple pieces of redstone and a couple of different areas, and we're gonna use debugging to find out why this computer has suddenly stopped working. So broke a total of five pieces of redstone, and we're going to try to find it. So, here's how the buggy works. First off, it's just a way to completely bypass using control panel, do everything by hand. So, the bugging works on the theory that every single command in a program, by the way, this is probably going to be the most structured video in this entire series, in case you're wondering. Every command in a program is designed to do one specific function and a series of functions to try to get the whole program working. In this case, the first command is designed to load, f load the first user input and save it to the AOU register. So let's see if that's what happens. If I load it, it should be loading a 1 at some point. Right now it lo looks like it's loading a 1. And if I go down, hey look, I'm missing a piece of redstone. Fix that, so that's 1 out of 5. I broke a total of 5. And hey, it's not making it. Put that in, boom, it makes it. So there, that's one error. And it's saving it to the register in theory, and it looks like it's is indeed saving it to the register. So there we go, that's the way you do who debugging for command one. We found a whole bunch of errors on our computer, we found two out of three pieces of redstone. So number two, this isn't supposed to use load user input two and save it to the register. Two is seven, it looks like it is doing that successfully. And there's number three. Just a couple more. And final command. If I load this command, this one's supposed to do the addition, send it to the user output. Or, well, not the user output, just the output. As you can see, this one is working, but if I had done a different combination, I would have found this error. So, there we go. There's going to be one more redstone missing. If I go through here, I see that that's getting me the 8, but missing a piece of redstone there. So, Incidentally, a whole lot of redstone I broke had absolutely no effect on my program, but... Oh uh, yeah, it's just a quick example of how you can use debugging. It's designed to be used when the computer is off, in this case, and um, yeah. So there you go, first how-to video. They're going to be quick, dirty for the most part. Just simple stuff showing you how to do something. So thank you, see you next time.